So as you see here, the Metro Prime remaster is still selling out like crazy, especially the physical copy, but also the digital. Um, so the digital copy pretty much, according to the eShop, is still at number two right now. It was number one for the past two, three weeks, but it's still at number two. So that's still really, really, really good for a game that came out back in 2002. But you know, if you haven't played this game, you will know that uh, this remaster, it was just not just uh, HD poor, it was more than that. So if you haven't played this game, this, this wasn't just a HD poor, it was a remastered. So, you know, they really, really did which is one of the best remasters in my opinion uh and then when i went to amazon today because it's you know it's keep going um it's keep going in and out when it comes to selling on amazon and best buy uh i know a lot of people still haven't got the game but he but as of right now um it's at number one for best seller on amazon so yeah that lets you know that the demand on this game is huge this game is making the money and i don't know if Nintendo probably didn't know that, you know, this game was going to be huge like this, but they trying to keep up to keep making more physical copies available because people are, you know, trying to get the physical copy. Um, I'm pretty sure a lot of us uh, fans double dip, you know, because, you know, a lot of us were not able to um, get the physical copy. So we got a digital copy while we wait for the physical copy. So uh, that's also a win-win for Nintendo because a lot of people are uh, literally buying this game twice. And yeah, I mean, hopefully with all this going on when it comes to making, you know, selling out, being on top of bestseller on the eShop, Amazon, selling out on Amazon, selling out on Best Buy, uh, hopefully Nintendo will see that the demand is huge for the Major Prime franchise and hopefully they also remaster Metro Prime 2 and 3, you know, because that is what we want when it comes to a lot of us fans. Um, after playing the Metro Prime Remaster, like I said before in my other videos about this game, is that, you know, after playing the remaster, you don't just, you just don't want HD port when it comes to 2 and 3. It's not, it's not gonna cut it. I don't think it's gonna be enough. It's not really gonna make us, you know, happy. I mean, I know it's gonna make some of us happy, you know, for at least getting 2 and 3 on the Switch, but it's just quality. You get what I'm saying? You know, when it comes to, to Metro Prime Remaster, it's literally one of the best games, best looking games on the Switch um you know the, the way it plays and all that the way it looks we we want this we want quality you know we, we want the same love that the, the first one got with this remaster to two and three so yeah i really really hope that nintendo are seeing this you know they, they they're not blind i'm pretty sure and you can tell that nintendo has even come out saying that we know that the physical copy is selling out and that they are trying their best to have more copies out there for people for people to be able to buy so yeah just let me know what you think about all this do, do you think that this would give us fans more of a chance of getting a remaster for two and three i do think so i really hope you know i really hope and i don't think that nintendo are that dumb in my opinion so hopefully they really see this and they would you know move on to remaster two and three and they should. I mean, we don't really know when Metro Prime 4 is coming out. I, you know, I think it's going to be this year, but it's going to be probably late this year, like December, um, if not early 2024. So if that's really the case, they still, in my opinion, have time to remaster 2 and 3. If anything, they should still probably delay part 4 a little longer. You know, that way they can work on it um, or, you know, really finish the game uh, and do whatever they need to do or just, you know, finish the game and just, you know, hold it. Because as some of us know by now, you know, from rumors online, uh, Metro Prime, the Metro Prime remaster, the, the one that just came out, apparently this game was done since late 2021 and they were just holding it back. So I... You know, we think that we're holding it back for the same reason of having a momentum when it comes to Metroid, the Metroid franchise coming back to back. Because, you know, as, as you may know by now, uh, Metroid Prime Fusion is going to be on the Nintendo online starting March 9, which is going to be Thursday. You know, that's two days from now. Um, so, yeah, I believe that Nintendo's doing all this to keep the momentum going. So, yeah, 
uh, uh, hopefully, you know, if you haven't got your physical copy, hopefully you you guys will get yours sooner, you know, sooner than later. Because, you know, if you haven't played this remaster yet, you are missing out. Um, if you haven't played Metro Prime before, this is this will be the best way for you to play it um, and for you to get into the, the trilogy, you know, for you to get into the franchise. Uh, so yeah, I really do recommend the Metro Prime remaster. You know, try your best to get a physical digital, however you can get your hands on it. I really do recommend this game. Thank you everyone for watching my videos and have a good one.